Hello YouTube, this is a 4 Grimber, Grimber run of Craggy Monsters. I decided to put this video together because there are only two fire attacks on this level, allowing us to abuse peerless sheep. I'm Arn, lecturer of Team Mag, a Jaren on Gayfax, and a Patapon Zoo. Hello YouTube, I'm Funky5119 on GameSpots and on Chitango Zoo. I'm a, I'm a lecturer and versus player in Team Mag, and uh, I hope you enjoy this vid. What's up, YouTube? This is Ruby, and my PSN ID is Fizzy, and my YouTube channel is Woohoo Yay. So, if you want to go check it out, go ahead. And I'm in Team Mag. Okay, I'm Olivius, and I'm not participating in this particular mission, but yeah, my PSN ID is I am Olivius, and that's all. On this level, there are golems, balrags, balrogs. Dogine and a tower structure. Enemies will respawn until the tower is destroyed, and it, only two fire attacks on this level, which will kill us instantly, are the Balrag Belly Slam, right there, and the Dogine Laser Eyes attack. But Dogine's actually easier to kill than the Balrags because they have so much HP, and you can see me like slashing away at one right now. And it takes like four of us with like a slash all at the same time to kill one. And the only um, Balrag or Balrog variant we should worry about is the Balrag, which is the taller one with the green and purple patterns, because the Balrog, which is the smaller one, has a belly slam element of ice, which won't affect us. So we only jump when we see the Balrag raise his belly. And you can see in this video that I constantly have my view on the Balrag, because that's the only thing that's going to really affect me. Like, I don't really care about the golems. There you see me take a slash, and I still survive. And I get, like, knocked back, like, however far. But, like, I actually survived that one golem smash, which I didn't really expect I would survive. As you saw, I got hit. I got hit by um, a belly slam, and that's um, instant KO of uh, using peerless sheep. So I died. I was gonna re reborn, or revive myself, and I got hit again. And that's an instant KO again. So that got me pretty mad. You can see that the main goal we're trying to accomplish here is trying to kill the Balrag before um, he finishes his meat. Because we, when he finishes his meat, he's going to start looking for more meat. And that meat is going to be from the Grembers. So if we manage to kill him before that, then we don't have to try to avoid his skewer extension that he does. And that, sur that helps us to survive when he's not doing his belly slam attack. But you have to be watching what he's doing at all times, like even like right there where just the dogine just died. Because like even if the dogine dies, it won't protect you from like what the Balrag's doing because they're all in like separate planes. So you always have to watch what he's doing rather than what anyone else is doing, which is the reason why I survived on this level. And also because I did a practice run um, on my own in mm -hmm. solo. And even though in solo the enemies have much less HP, they're still pretty high. So I was, man I was able to do the practice run and see how it would go and see if it was doable. And then I knew that if I was doing it online, I'd have like four times the strength because I'd have like four Grembers with me. So I thought, you know, well, it would be cool if I could do this online because then it would look so cool and like we'd be dodging all the attacks and surviving these like belly, um, not belly slams, um, Golem slash golem smashes, I should say, and you can see me hop back there randomly, <laughs> and it knocks me back pretty far, and I get away from like all the golem movement at the front. And then you can see that if we attack the golem or the Balrog all the same time, we'll kill him instantly, and then that helps a lot with moving us forward because another big force in this um, video is the knockback. And they're all trying to knock you back to the entrance so that you can't complete the mission. 
and that's true for a lot of DLCs actually. And the main thing here, we're at the tower now, is that they're going to try to keep knocking you back so you can't destroy the tower. And if you can't destroy the tower, you can't finish the level. So that's what we're trying to do now, get close enough to the tower so we can like keep attacking it and then focus on it instead of the enemies. As you can see, the the Balrogs are stronger than the golems. The Balrogs could uh, recover not, like a lot of HP and one bite of its meat. And once it's done with its meat, it will start going for the Grunbirds. Alright, we've destroyed the structure, so I'll just um, say uh, who I'd like to thank. I'd like to thank the runners for doing the run with me, commentators for doing the commentary with me, and my computer for letting things work. Uh, I'd like to say thanks to AJ's computer for withstanding the major lag that we had today. <laughs> and I would like to say thanks to all the contributors, all the people that are going to see this vid. And I hope you subscribe. Um, I want to say thanks to um, AJ for letting me join his um, DLC, Grimbers. And um, I had fun doing this DLC. So I want to say thanks for AJ joining me into this commentary, even though I haven't said a word. Okay, so check the YouTube channel, check Padapon Zoo, check GameFAQs for more videos, commentary, and discussion. Have a great day, and I'll see you all in the next video. Bye.